Thyroid neoplasms include adenomas, papillary carcinoma, follicular carcinoma, medullary carcinoma, anaplastic carcinoma and lymphoma. An adenoma is an encapsulated solitary round mass derived from thyroid follicle epithelium. The macrofollicular type of adenoma is common but microfollicular adenomas are rarer. These are also known as embryonal, fetal or trabecular adenomas. Adenomas are usually non-functional and rarely synthesize excess T3 and T4. This spherical well encapsulated mass is an adenoma of the thyroid. The pale rim is the capsule. This is the microscopic appearance of a thyroid adenoma. The capsule on the right side of the picture creates a sharp boundary between the adenoma and the rest of the thyroid. This indicates the tumour is benign. If we look at the adenoma at an even higher magnification, you can see that it is composed of tiny follicles. This is why it's called a microfollicular type of adenoma. Papillary carcinomas tend to occur in patients under the age of 45 years. They spread via the lymphatics into the thyroid and to cervical lymph nodes. They are slow growing tumours with an excellent prognosis. Microscopically they have a papillary structure. They have somoma bodies and the nuclei have an orphan annie appearance. This is the gross appearance of a papillary carcinoma of the thyroid. And here is the microscopic appearance of a papillary carcinoma of the thyroid. You can see the papillary structures. The nuclei in papillary carcinoma have a characteristic appearance. They are pale with a dark rim. They resemble the eyes of the cartoon character Orphan Annie. And here is little Orphan Annie whose eyes resemble the nuclei of a papillary carcinoma of the thyroid. Follicular carcinomas are grossly round encapsulated nodules, microscopically similar to adenomas, but they invade the thyroid capsule and or blood vessels. They tend to metastasize to bone and lungs, and they can be treated with radioactive iodine. This cut surface of a thyroid shows a follicular carcinoma, We can tell this is a follicular carcinoma because the tumour is invading a blood vessel. Medullary carcinomas are neuroendocrine tumours of the C cells. They may be associated with MEN syndromes. The tumour produces calcitonin and may produce 5-HT causing carcinoid syndrome symptoms. Amyloid is produced within the tumour because calcitonin polymerizes into a beta-pleated sheet. This is the histological appearance of a medullary carcinoma. The pale pink areas are amyloid. Here we can see the apple green biorefringence of the Congo red stain for amyloid when examined in the polarized light. Anaplastic carcinomas of the thyroid tend to occur in the elderly. They are thought to be derived from follicular epithelium. They are diffusely infiltrative and may invade the trachea. The prognosis is poor. 
This diffusely infiltrating solid pale tumour is an anaplastic carcinoma. Lymphoma of the thyroid is a MALT type of lymphoma. MALT stands for mucosa associated lymphoid tissue. There is an increased incidence of lymphoma in patients with Hashimoto's thyroiditis. This is the histological appearance of a thyroid lymphoma which is composed of monomorphic atypical lymphoid cells. The top right hand corner of this picture reveals lymphoma and we are moving towards the bottom left hand corner and you can see the Hashimoto's thyroiditis in which this lymphoma arose. 